Starting off this look by giving my skin a clean with the IT Cosmetics Miracle Water. Then applying some hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary and then using the Skin Plumping Gel from Hadalabo. Be sure to take that moisturiser down your neck as well. Using my ring finger because it's the most delicate, I'm just applying some of the Hadalabo Eye and Mouth Cream all the way around my eyes and around my mouth as well. Using my favourite brow product, Brow Cake from Milamaska. I'm just filling in my brows, filling the tail, and then pushing some product through the front of my brow as well. My favourite eye base is the Revolution Concealer, and I'm just using a concealer brush just to carve out my brows, and then applying it all over the lid as a base for my eyeshadow. Using the beautiful Bare Necessities palette from Colourpop, ignore the state of it, it's well loved. I'm firstly going in with Hot Gossip all into my crease and blending that out. During this stage, I feel that my eyes always look a bit messy, but I know it all comes good at the end. Then picking up the colour Taboo, I'm just taking that into the outer corner to create a winged look and just to darken up the crease. Taking the colour Taboo further in and keep on blending with that lighter shade. Just taking a wet wipe with some micellar water on just to tidy up that lid and I also used it on the outer edge to create a wing effect as well. Using NYX Glitter Glue, I'm just applying it on my lid to create a base for the next eyeshadow I'm going to use. Next, using Kitten Eyeshadow from Stila, I'm just going to pop that across the sticky base. And then grabbing the Bare Necessities palette again and using the colour Prefix, I'm just using that to blend those two colours together. I'm picking up the colour Taboo again, I'm just darkening the outer corner. Using the NYX Epic Ink Liner, I'm just drawing on my wing. And then I'm just taking it across the eye to the inner corner and then filling it in. Just applying a quick coat of mascara, this is Superhero from IT Cosmetics. Using the beautiful Jamie Genevieve Lashes from Tatty Lashes in TL1, I'm just popping those on with some Duo Glue. Moving on to the base, I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Backlight Priming Filter. This is just going to prime my skin and prep it for foundation. It also gives a beautiful glow and it's perfect in photographs, which is why I use it for my brides. And then grabbing the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury and buffing that in. Using both of these products is just going to give my skin a radiant finish. And then using the full coverage foundation from Delilah called Alibi. I'm just applying that over and buffing it in with my foundation brush. Don't forget, if you use the code KEENR20, you get 20% off. I'll put that in the comments section below. My go-to under eye concealer, Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. I'm just popping that under and getting rid of those nasty dark circles. Using the Urban Decay Black Eyeliner Pencil, I'm just going into my waterline and then I'm taking it a little bit lower under my lashes and then I'm going to smoke it out with the colour Taboo from the Bare Necessities palette. Using the colour Hot Gossip again, I'm just smoking that out further just so it doesn't look too harsh under my eyes. And then grabbing that colour Kitten, I'm just applying that to the inner corner to make my eyes pop. Using my favourite loose powder from Delilah, I'm just using a big powder brush and I'm popping some on my T-zone and under my eyes just to take away any shine and to set that foundation. Using Caramel Bronzer from Benefit and a contour brush from It Cosmetics, I'm just going to contour my face all around my hairline, my cheekbones, down the sides of my nose and my jawline. Using blusher from Milani called Berry Amore, popping some of that on the apples of my cheeks and just pulling it back. Picking up my favourite highlighter from Becca Cosmetics in the colour Champagne Pop. I'm applying that onto the cheekbones, my brow bone, a little bit on my nose and my top lip too. One of my favourite things in makeup, a nude lip. 
So finishing with a lip liner from MAC in the colour Spice. I'm just enhancing my Cupid's bow and defining my lip shape. And then going in with a new lipstick by Nick Chapman from MAC Cosmetics. Gorgeous nude colour. And then no makeup look is complete without some setting spray. This is just the mist from Morphe. Keep your makeup on all day and I'm just fanning it down just to set it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Any questions, pop them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.